Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm your host, Hugh Sung, and it is my great privilege to welcome to the show Dean Benjamin Harding. Benjamin, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Hugh. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Wonderful to have you here. Um, you are the Dean of Music at Cairn University, which is a Christian university. But before we get into your duties at that wonderful school, I thought you'd Give, to give you an opportunity to talk about your musical beginning. Tell me how you got started with the piano. Sure. I grew up in uh, Dipper Harbor, New Brunswick, Canada. What a cool town. Dipper Harbor. Yeah. Was, it, was, there, a lot of, was there a lot of water? Are, were you by a lot the water? of water. Okay. Um, we, I grew up near the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides in the world. Oh, interesting. Highest tides in the world, and it's a, it's a real, like a seventh wonder of the world almost. Wow. Yeah. It's interesting. I've interviewed a number of musicians who describe their hometowns as being these incredibly beautiful places. Yeah. I keep asking the same question. Why in the world would you <laughs> leave? Yeah, it was for music. I, I, I really wanted to pursue music at a, at a high level and really engage with a teacher that really cared about me and really wanted to nurture my musical abilities. And I understand that you, your family actually helped you with your musical beginnings. And, Absolutely. And, and tell me a little bit about your musical, your family's musical contribution. Yeah, so growing up in rural Atlantic Canada, um, we went through the Royal Conservatory of Music program, yeah. which is the largest, uh, uh, well, was the largest correspondence program for musicians. So my grandmother wanted to teach us so that we could play in our church hymns. And uh, so my parents were very supportive of that. Mm. Uh, my father played by ear. He played a lot of bluegrass and folk music. And so we were singing a lot and, and sharing in music together from a variety of styles and genres. That's so beautiful. It's interesting because I actually have the same background. My oh, parents wow. got me started in music for exactly the same reason. Oh they heard a sermon about somebody talking about one of the, the pastors talking about King David mm. and how he was such a, a wonderful man, but mm. also a musician. Mm -hmm. You know, he played the harp to soothe King Saul's troubled soul. and they said, oh, we want our son to be able to do exactly what you just yes. to be able to play hymns. That was their only goal for me. Yeah. And yet, you know, it, it led to other things. Led so to other things. tell us a little bit about your American journey. Obviously, sure. you, it sounds like you found somebody very, very special mm. that inspired you to, to leave such a beautiful and loving home environment. I connected to music when I was in junior high school mm. and then really found uh, a source of expression where music could go beyond words. It could really speak to what I was feeling as a te young teenager. Mm -hmm. And so then I came to the Chehi Summer School of Music in, in Philadelphia mm. to meet with uh, a teacher named Samuel Shu. Yeah. yeah he, and you know Sam. Yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah he he was, he, he passed a few years ago, but his, mm -hmm. it's amazing. I, I talked to so many people mm. who still speak of him as, you know, so lovingly. Yeah. He, uh, but. Let the, you describe, because I think you knew him better than I did. I only sure. knew him as an acquaintance. Sure, absolutely. Well, it actually was over a conversation of WC that he just grabbed my heart. Mm. He said that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of Lights. Mm. And uh, that really resonated with me as a young musician who was following a path of a spiritual journey and following a path of a musical journey. And he was able to put them both together and show me how they came together. Uh, in a real meaningful way. It's interesting because I think a lot of uh, musicians, especially young musicians, who are at a high level of training, they feel a lot of pressure to perform, mm -hmm. pressure to excel. Mm -hmm. And it's all up to them, how yeah. much, how hard they practice, how diligent they are, mm -hmm. and, and it can be, frankly, it can be overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know, if yes. it's all up to you. Mm -hmm. and. And of course, then where do you find your inspiration? Yes. And especially scary once you leave school. What you to do? Forward, you go, who are you? Who am yeah. I? And while music expresses a lot of those, I think, deeper mm -hmm. questions, it doesn't always provide the answers in and of itself. Does That's that make right. any sense? I, Absolutely. It, it sounds like you can speak to that a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, when I was a young person uh, preferring, uh, pursuing music school, I had a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of questions about life, a lot of questions about who I was as a human being. And I felt like uh, coming to study with Samuel Shu at Philadelphia College of Bible at the time, but now it's called Cairn University. So it's the same school, but same just school, name, different name. Okay. And uh, I came uh, to a place where the integration of faith and music 
uh, was so instrumental in mm. developing me as a complete human being. Um, I find musicians have a lot of questions, mm. and I, for one, uh, did, and still do to a certain extent, and always trying to learn about my life and how my life fits in this big world, the big universe that we live in. And uh, so I was able to ask those big questions, big questions of purpose, of um, why am I doing what I'm doing, and ask those questions in a spiritual environment like Karen University. You know, I, I had the opportunity a little while ago to interview somebody who had the opportunity to visit a refugee camp. Mm -hmm. And in this refugee camp, of mm -hmm. course, these are people who have been stripped of all the basics. Mm -hmm. They have no home, clothing, food, yeah. you know, shelter. Mm -hmm. All the basics of life are, are perilously, mm -hmm. you know, they're just holding on to mm -hmm. whatever is there. He brought with him toy flutes. Wow. And he was there to teach the children mm -hmm. how to make music. And I'm not sure if, if he had thought about it. He was a musician. Mm -hmm. He wanted to share what he knew best. Mm -hmm. What struck me so much was the fact that animals need shelter. Mm -hmm. Animals need food. Mm -hmm. Animals, you know, need to be warm. But music is a uniquely human, Absolutely. spiritual need. Absolutely. Almost as great. Yeah. It, it, it's, it showed these children, yeah. they weren't animals. Yeah. They were human, human beings. Who needed that higher sense of creativity, yeah. expression. Mm -hmm. I was almost moved to tears when he told me that mm -hmm. story. And yeah. I think, again, yes. um, it, I think it's a mistake for musicians to s try to separate, well, I play the piano or right. I, I'm a musician. Oh, the spiritual stuff is just something. You know, and I think many, many musicians Absolutely. of all different perspectives start to realize there's, there's a very deep yeah. spiritual connection of some yeah. sort. Yeah. And for me, you know, people are created in the image of God. Mm. You know, as a mm. Christian man, yeah. um, that's what I believe. I believe mm. that God, people are created in the image of God and mm. they're noble uh, human beings that need love, care, and music. And it's this means of yeah. expression. Yeah. And we could go on all night. It's so wonderful refreshing to talk to you about this, but I know you have some music to share with us. So tell us a little bit about what you'd like to share. Sure, I'm going to share uh, Lille Joyeuse by WC. What a beautiful name. So I don't speak French. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about what this means. Well, Lille Joyeuse could be translated Island of Joy. What a great, great title. So I, I assume this is going to be a very happy piece. Absolutely. For people who've never heard WC, who've yeah, never, sure. heard, never heard this particular piece, help us, help this Prime our ears. What are, we, what are we going to be hearing? Sure. How does he express that? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, first he gives it a title. Mm -hmm. He yes. gives this title, uh, Island of Joy. So he really wants to communicate to the listener mm -hmm. in vivid colors and pictures what that would look like with sound. It's interesting you say that because pictures, colors, how does the piano create a color? How does the piano create a picture? It's going to be very interesting to to hear yeah. how, how you and Mr. Debussy approach this. Yeah, so he, he, he uses all kinds of different kinds of scales and different kinds of rhythmic patterns and articulations and dynamics. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's very intimate and quiet. Sometimes it's very uh, overt mm. and extroverted. And uh, he does an amazing job. He's an amazing composer that just takes sound and r literally you can almost see fireworks happening in your, in your brain. You know, let's 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 go ahead and hear this wonderful piece. Great.
Benjamin, one of the things that strikes me about music like this is how profoundly psychological it is. Mm -hmm. um, where you were describing this as a piece of joy. Mm -hmm. But as you said, we were trying to anticipate there can be a lot of different kinds of sounds and colors, Absolutely. sometimes extroverted, sometimes introverted. Yeah. And I, it's almost like I heard all of those aspects mm -hmm. of joy, not just happy, happy, but sometimes right. contemplative. Like That's right. Just bringing it, holding it back, sometimes yeah. exulting. Yeah. And I love how composers can sometimes be so psychological in studying an emotion to Absolutely. such depth. And you played it so brilliantly. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's multi-variegated music. I love that word, variegated. <laughs> <laughs> you, look at, you look at an emotion from different angles mm. and different perspectives. Mm. And isn't that how we experience emotion as human beings? Mm. We exp experience joy sometimes in going through tremendous trial and pain. That's interesting. And sometimes just overt happiness, mm. sometimes in quiet moments and mm. sometimes in real excited moments. So he's looking at joy and really pleasure from a different, all different kinds of angles. That's such a prism, amazing yeah. multifaceted prism. Mm -hmm. um, before we go, I wanted to give you an opportunity to talk about Absolutely. Karen University, yeah. the Philadelphia College of Bibles, mm -hmm. where you studied with mm -hmm. Professor Samuel Shu, of course. Mm -hmm. Now it's you've gone full circle. Now yeah. you are the Dean of Dean. Music at the very school that you studied. Yeah. What a wonderful opportunity. Tell me a little bit about the program there, and maybe you can even share about your vision for the future. Sure, absolutely. Karen University is a really exciting place right now. We're offering so many different kinds of programs mm -hmm. and, and areas of study, and it's a joy to go to work every day because I get to interact with some of the most curious and insightful minds mm -hmm. that uh, can be studying in higher education today. Um, they're wonderful people, mm. and I learn just as much as I think they're learning uh, at Cairn University with these amazing, energetic young people. In the School of Music, we have bachelor programs, bachelor of music and performance composition, music education. Mm -hmm. Music education is a wonderful program. We've had a 100% job placement rate in the last five years. Wow, that's, yeah. that's amazing. That's phenomenal. Okay. And a wonderful. brand new worship and music program, bachelor of music program, that uh, specializes in jazz. And so we have uh, Director of Jazz Studies, Ruth Naomi Floyd, who just oversees our jazz, um, jazz study in that program. Mm -hmm. And she's uh, assembled a tremendous faculty that encourages students to study the art, the great American tradition of jazz within the, a worship context. Um, and then in the, the Bachelor of Music and Performance, we've added uh, David Kim, Concert Master of the Philadelphia Orchestra's Professor of Violin Studies. Wow. And so our, our program is really expanding and attracting wonderful, wonderful students from literally all over the world. Uh, we also have a Bachelor of Music program in composition and a Bachelor of Arts degree, which is a liberal arts degree in, in music where students are able to um, put together kind of their own track and own kind of area of study. We just graduated our first banjo major. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, and he studied, wow. he studied the music of the Civil War. He, he was really interested in music wow. of the Civil War and famed uh, uh, harmonica player and uh, arranger and songwriter, guitar player, Buddy Green, mm -hmm. uh, participated on his senior uh, project with him. Um, and I made my fiddle debut. Because I played group bluegrass growing up. I, I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. <laughs> I, I envy you. I really, really envy you. That is remarkable. So it was really funny, uh, fun wow. for me to do. Uh, but Karen is, is, a, is a growing, vibrant program. Our faculty, uh, of course, are from the Philadelphia area. It's, we, we traffic in the arts around here. Mm. And it's just so, uh, it's such a vibrant place for creativity, for musicianship. For technology, as you know, in, in music, and uh, just delighted to be a part of it. Benjamin, thank you so much for being so gracious with your time, your talent, your gifts, your music, and for sharing uh, your wonderful story. And I know that the Cairn University community must be so fortunate and so happy to have you. Oh, it's a pleasure to serve there, for Absolutely. sure. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to leave a comment and subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new ones. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you 